Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back again to On Our Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, and we're getting for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop on the line a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 300 videos so far on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys. Now I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. Still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe, or maybe now you should consider doing so because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now I'll be sharing complete sections and widgets highly customizable to make your Shopify store very unique and professional without having to rely on those expensive teams or hiring those expensive developers, or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that would drain your money and it's not a very good idea for long-term projects. But I give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, now let you decide, now respect your decision. But for now, let me fulfill again one of the most requested videos which is how to add videos on product page on your Shopify store and yeah, it sounds very average like add a video but it's not. In this video, I will show you, I will share with you three types of calls. With the first one, you will be able to add specific videos to specific products. So if you want to add different videos to different products, this is exactly what I'm about to show you in this video. And also it's full width and also it's autoplay and muted. And the second call is the same, exactly the same, which will add different videos to different products, but it's not autoplay and it's not muted. And the third one, which will add the same video across all your products. So if you want to add videos, different videos to all your products in the Shopify store, this video will help you out. And if you want to add the same video across all your product page, this video will help you out. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. In each video, I add small customizations. About the video like 70 to 60, the team will be completely different. For example, check out the scrolling logos as you can see with the fade at the corners. It looks very good, professional, or even better. Check out the recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code and many, many more things. If you want to see something that will make you more money, check this out. As you can see, I have five products added to the cart and I didn't check out yet, right? And this is the mouse cursor. So I will act just like I want to leave or close the page. And this thing will show up, which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and he didn't check out. And by using your own custom code, and I got amazing feedback on this lately, it helped many, many people to reduce their abandoned carts. And there is a lot of complicated things I did in tutorials. I can't mention them all. But as I said, I will show you how to add specific videos to specific products and let's just check out or actually I will not do demonstration on this team because as you can see it's fully customized and it has many widgets and stuff so we will do demonstration on a different team same by the way this this trick that I will show you in this video it works on every Shopify team no matter if it's paid or free it doesn't matter because this is a custom code custom liquid code that will work across all your Shopify team. You just have to be using the platform Shopify basically. So as I said, let's just close this uh, Shopify store and open up a fresh version or Horizon. We will do demonstration on Horizon instead, which is the new team that's been released lately. And yes, I have a video full customizations for Horizon team coming soon, very, very soon. So let's just uh, open up the Shopify store and we will do demonstration on it. So let's just access this product or actually let's just get back in here. And the first thing we're going to do is we need to click on customize button for the team you are using. In your case, you should be click here. But in my case, I'm going to do it on Horizon. So I'm going to click on here. Then it will open up the team editor for your Shopify team. And from the top of the page, make sure to switch to the page where you want to add the video, which is obviously the product page. So I'm going to click on it, select product then select the default template for products. And now we will simply scroll down where you want to add the product. So I want to add it in here below the whole uh, section that has the uh, product information in the pictures. So I will add it in here. Click on add uh, section to template. Then it will show you this prompt and simply search for custom. And here is custom liquid as you can see. Then simply click on it and it will show you uh, a section on the right of the page where you can paste in the custom liquid code. And where are you gonna get that code? From the description box, of course, and completely free as always. So scroll down the description box, click on a link, my website, click on it, and it will take you to this page right here. Then scroll down a little bit, and you will see three types of codes. No worries, I will explain each one what it does basically. So the first one is autoplay, loop, and muted. And this code will show up across uh, only for the specific products you want. So using this code, you will be able to add specific videos to specific products. So each video will have different products. Depends if you want to show it on uh, all the products or just some of them. So let's just click on the copy button using this button right here. 
and get back in here and paste it in the custom liquid code. And now we need to add the video. How to get the video from your Shopify files. So make sure to uh, have the file that MP4 as the extension and hit back to content from the left panel right here. Simply click on it to be expanded. Then click on files section right here. And it will show you all the files on your Shopify store and simply drag the file in here and drop it and it will be uploaded. I already have a video here, so I will use this one for demonstration. Then simply copy the link using this button on the right of the page, then get back in here and you will see in the code what it says between the quotes, as you can see, uh, media forward slash account videos flower.mp4, this one right here. Make sure to select between the quotes. If you accidentally remove the quote, it will not work. So make sure to select the thing between the quote, delete it, then paste in the URL in here. That's very simple, right? And above you will see the width, this option right here. So you can pick if you want to show 80% of the page or 100%, which is full width. And you can also adjust this by using the custom section, custom uh, liquid section option in here. So let's just click on save and no video will show up. Why? Because we need to specify where you want to show the video, because as I said, you will be able to add different videos to different products. So in this product page, even this one, if I reload the page, it will not show up as you can see. So to specify which product you want to show that specific video, simply get back to your Shopify store then click on products and simply search for the product where you want to add this specific video that I did copy, which is this one right here. So let's just say I want to show that particular video on this product only. That's very simple. Simply navigate to this product. It's called Anchor Bracelet Man. So I'm going to search for Anchor. And here it is. I see it, Anchor. Then after that, simply head back to the tag section right here and add the tag product one. That's very simple, product one. Then add the tag, make sure it's here. I see it. Then click on save button, wait for a couple of seconds. Now we will get back in here, reload the page and see if the video will show up. So let's just reload the page. It didn't, let's just reload the page again. It did, I just have to scroll down a little bit. It did show up in here, that was my mistake. Let me fix it now, so uh, let me scroll down. The uh, here, I have to add it above. So simply click on the dots from the left of the panel, then click, uh, drag it up and below the product information. Now it will show up below the product picture. So let's just reload the page. And here it is, as you can see, it's autoplay and muted, doesn't have any video and it's loop. So as you can see, it will keep looping the same video. However, if I click on this product, no video. If I scroll down, as you can see, it doesn't have any video. That video will only be displayed on the product. And I know what you're thinking. What if you want to add different videos to different products? It's very simple. You just have to use the same exact code and simply change this one. You see this one, product one, that's exactly the tag we added. This is a condition, so you can simply uh, change this to number two. Actually copy first the code, then add a new one, a new actually uh, section, custom liquid section, just like this. Then paste in the code again and simply change the tag from product one, product two, and change the video you want to use on the second product and then navigate to the product where you want to show the second video and add the product too, as you can see this tag. So basically use the same code. The only thing you will have to change is this tag right here and the URL for the video you want to use on that specific product, then navigate to that product and add the same tag you did set in here. That's very simple, right? Yeah, I know. You might be thinking, why if I want to add the video not muted and not autoplay, so just normal video. That's very simple. Get back to my website and here is the code. This code actually, will uh, have the video not, I just mentioned it here, as you can see, not autoplay, muted, and loop. So this video will not be autoplay, and not be muted, and not looping. So it will have the normal like uh, video controls and so on. And the exact same trick, product one, change the tag to the, uh, the tag you wanna use on that specific product, and change the URL to the video that you wanna use on that specific product. And what if you wanna show the same video across all your products? use this one. It's the exact, it's actually minus one step, which is the tag. You don't have to change this product one because it doesn't exist in here. Simply change the URL in here and will be added 
across all your products. I mean the same video. And that's how you add different videos to different products on your Shopify store by using your own custom code. And as you can see, it was very simple. And also if you have any, any requests or any questions or you got confused or something, just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to help you out. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.